Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Elias Talks Money Vlog, where I talk all things money. Today I'm going to be talking about gold and why you'd want to invest in it. Furthermore, I'm going to talk about three ways that you can get gold exposure in your portfolio at the end. So what are the good reasons to invest in gold? Firstly, is to protect against inflation. Over the long run, most currencies have depreciated relative to gold, as many major governments have run big deficits all around the world and printed money for expanding government programs. In this sorts of situations, gold tends to become more valuable relative to currencies as it can't be replicated with a magic wand in the same way that money is. The US government has already shelled out trillions of dollars in economic stimulus during this pandemic, and it could be trillions more to prop up the economy until business returns to normal. Secondly, gold is used for portfolio diversification as it's thought of having a low correlation with the stock market. For example, the most popular gold ETF, GLD, has a correlation coefficient of 0.14 with the S&P 500. That said, this correlation can vary widely, and correlations have been shown to swing all the way from negative 1 to positive 1. A correlation of 1.0 indicates they are moving in the same direction, and negative 1 indicates they are moving in the opposite direction. So if the correlation is plus 1, uh, plus one and the stock market moves up one percent gold would be moving up one percent and conversely the opposite for negative correlation therefore while it's used for portfolio diversification due to the volatility of this correlation it isn't necessarily the best hedge against a stock portfolio thirdly during times of geopolitical conflict or wars gold can perform very well uncertainty is good for gold prices this partly explains the right the recent rise in gold during this pandemic during the beginning of the year, gold prices were in the mid-1500s and are now trading just above 1700. For example, after the 9-11 attacks, the price of gold went up almost 33% in a single day, and gold ended up going on a bull run for nearly a decade, going up about 4x, which was also fueled by the financial crisis in 2008-2009. It should also be noted, though, this isn't always the case. So, for example, during the Paris terrorist attacks, there was a momentary pop in gold, but didn't last. Gold prices tend to forward anticipate, so you can run into the phenomenon of people buying the rumor and selling the news just like the stock market. Therefore, it's probably better to buy gold on more fundamental prices for things that are likely to endure rather than individual geopolitical events, as by that time, it could be too late and you've missed the pop. Furthermore, a couple of reasons that you might want to invest in gold is because it's a tangible asset that is liquid. If you're buying physical gold, it can't be hacked or misused, and it provides um, a perception of safety. Additionally, it's also liquid relative to other physical assets, such as real estate. So what are the ways that you can get gold exposure? Firstly, there is purchasing gold mining stocks. This would be the riskiest because there's an operational risk there to mining operations that makes buying gold stocks more volatile than other alternatives of getting gold exposure. There can also be a high degree of political risk depending on where that gold miner operates. There have historically been issues in developing countries. That said, with that risk can come reward, which is why some people invest in miners directly. Secondly, you can purchase gold streaming company stocks. What a gold streamer does is that they make contractual agreements to purchase gold from a mining company at a predetermined price. This helps to finance the gold miners in need of capital. The operational risk and potential cost overruns are with the miner and the profit margin for the streamer is more so based on the price of gold. Therefore, it's less risky than buying a miner, but at the same time relatively more risky than purchasing the physical asset. Three gold streaming companies are Franco Nevada, Wheat and Precious Metals, and Royal Gold. Thirdly, is to purchase an ETF like GLD, which is backed by the physical asset or purchasing gold bars themselves. Of course, if you purchase an ETF, there are fees associated with that. For GLD, it's approximately 40 basis points. If you purchase the physical asset, though, you'll likely need to pay for st secure storage as well as insurance. This is the least risky but the safest of the three options. So do you invest in gold? If so, how do you invest in it and why? And are there any specific strategies that you're applying right now? Please leave your comments down below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe to the Elias Talks Money YouTube channel or follow me on the Elias Talks Money Facebook page. Over and out.